Hi guys, Jake here. Um, so yesterday I was talking about rain, and I guess when it rains it pours. Um, I just got a call from my dad about an hour ago. Um, apparently at 3 o'clock today, my grandfather, Grandpa, uh, Richard Brody, at the age of 91, passed away at 3 p.m. Um, I'm still kind of processing it. Uh, I, I figured, uh, you know, still, I don't know, kind of numb, shock, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I figured I'd film this uh, before it really sinks in. <laughs> Um, and kind of just work out my feelings on it a little bit. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he was, he was my last, uh, surviving grandparent. Um, and, uh, my, he, uh, he'd been living, uh, with my parents for a while, um, for moving into a, uh, a retirement home, uh, last year, and, uh, the other week he had a fall, uh, you know, it, we were very concerned for him, he had to have an operation, but he, he seemed to be all right, and recovering, and, um, and today they, they put him on a morphine drip, and he just sort of, um, slipped away. Um, he'd, he'd been dealing with dementia for some time. Um, the pills that he was on for for the pain uh, had been making it much worse. He was very confused, but um, he was always He's always a pleasant man. Um, you know, he he would smile and he would nod, even if he might not entirely remember who you were. Um, he was always too polite to ask. And, um, you know, if, if you seemed happy to see him, he, he figured he must be happy to see you. Um, he's a very sweet man. Uh, shared... Uh, as some of you guys know, he shared a birthday with my with my father, so my dad was his uh, was his birthday gift some uh, mm -hmm, years ago. Um, th th there will be no ceremony. Um, he he's he will be uh, cremated and his ashes scattered uh, down down North Carolina, where he lived with my grandmother for a number of years. Um, she, she passed away back in 2005, I believe it was, and, um, and he was, he was in a rough spot and very lonely for a number of years before moving in with my family, and I, I think that was, as much as he could drive my, my parents crazy sometimes, I think it was a good thing, uh, that he, that he did move up and live with them, um, and it was nice because I mean, I got to visit him a little bit more often too. Um, it's just all kind of surreal right now. Um, and, uh, and it, it's, it's funny in, in some ways, um, One of the reasons that I started Power Reviews um, back in October was because um, in September, my grandmother on my mother's side passed away. Bubby, Teresa Grossberg, fan fantastic woman. Um, and although it put me in a really, really rough spot uh, for, I was, I was in very down uh, for, for probably a good several weeks, month, because it, it took five weeks uh, of waiting before it happened. 
uh, she, she was on her way out for about five weeks. Um, but when it happened, uh, and I had some time to deal with it, um, I was, I'm like, you know what, her philosophy, even though it was never outright said, was basically, be a good person and live a good life. Enjoy your life. She enjoyed her life very much, and I, I like to think that, um, that Grandpa did too. But, um, I, I realized that I hadn't been uh, enjoying my life as much as I should. And that I need to do something good. Something that I could be proud of and something that would express something that I uh, really cared about. And that, that inspired me to start doing power reviews because I want, um, I want a career in, in the entertainment industry. I want, you know, to be a storyteller. Um, and I've always been, you know, fascinated with Power Rangers, so, um, I decided, you know what, there's no point in waiting for a job to come along anymore, I'm gonna make my own series about something that I love, and then I'm going to run out of footage because I forgot to clear out the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so I apologize for the cut right there. Um, the point that I was getting at was, um, the, the, the thing that came out of my grandmother's death was that, although it was painful when it happened, it inspired me to move forward with my life and take some important steps that I really needed to take. Um, I was right around the same time I got a new job. You know, I started Power Reviews, which is great. It gives me a reason to be creative each and every week, um, which is something that I think I really need emotionally to, to feel like I'm accomplishing something with my life. Um, and, and, and I've loved, loved doing that. So my hope is that um, although it will be rough uh, and it is rough losing grandpa I um, I hope that that somehow I will grow to be a better person. Um, you know, take take the example that you know your parents and your grandparents leave for you um, to live your life as best as you can. Um, Focus on the people you love. Um, my family, Marissa, my friends. Um, you guys for, for sticking with me. Um, and focus on always moving forward. And that's what I'm going to try to do. So, um... I'm going to try to get back to work um, on the 30th episode, uh, which I intend to, which I intend to dedicate to Grandpa. And um, I don't know uh, if it'll be if it'll be done tonight or not. Um, I, I'm going to try and just focus on working, see if I can. Um, I, I will try to get it out, but I, I really don't know if I can promise anything um, once it really starts to sink in. But, uh, thank you again for, uh, for all your patience. And, um, and I hope that you all stay well and appreciate the, um, the important people in your life. Um, 
because you never know. So, um, until next time, farewell and uh, let the power protect you.